The Simmons of Reading are best known for their beer. Members of the family ran the brewery for decades, but one of them had a different passion. Just one look at that moustache tells you that George Blackall Simmons was a man who knew how to sculpt. He learned how to do it in Bradfield, and his most famous work isn't far away. And here it is, the Maywon Lion in Reading's Forbury Gardens, a cast iron 16 tonne tribute to the Berkshire Regiment soldiers who gave their lives in battle in the Second Anglo-Afghan War in 1880. Legend has it that George killed himself shortly after finishing his masterpiece because he'd wrongly given his lion the legs of a domestic cat. But the truth is, that's a load of rubbish. In fact, George took his moustache and his pencil to the zoo and studied real lions to make sure he got the legs absolutely perfect. And he did. He did other sculptures too, including this one in New York, an homage to his other passion, falconry. And closer to home, the Golden Jubilee statue of Queen Victoria on Reading's Broad Street is one of his. But George's final piece of work is his most poignant. This is the War Memorial in Bradfield, the Berkshire village just outside of Reading, where George learned his trade. He came out of retirement in 1922 to sculpt this, and one of the names he carved into the stone was that of his own son. I can't believe he managed to keep his hand steady as he carved those letters. What a man.